So today I was given a new 2018 International uh, day cab tr tractor with um, an LT625 International engine in it with an automatic transmission and there was a transmission light on and a ABS light on and when I hooked up to Eaton Service Ranger which is the um, diagnostic program for the Eaton transmission these were the codes that I got and the, the important ones are the top two active codes code 22 and 23 563521 ABS CAN message and brake pedal position out of calibration so I tried to go through the troubleshooting steps for each one of them uh, the ABS CAN message was talking about the hill start assist which is this right here when you're on a hill it assists you in, and so you don't roll back and that light was actually flashing when I was in the truck when that fault was active but after I cycled the key a couple of times that went went inactive and the other one remained the um, brake pedal position out of calibration so I unplugged this switch a couple of times the that code would come active I'd plug it back in it would go inactive and it would stay inactive um, for a while but this other code remained active so I have the troubleshooting steps here and and it basically tells you to check for the active code and to go into the service routine of uh, keying off key on build up the air pressure key off key on engine off connect and you, and you monitor the brake pedal position uh, I'm not going to show how to do that right now because that wasn't the problem the brake pedal position was working just fine so ultimately what I did was I connected to Eaton Service Ranger and I went to the go to now all the fault codes are inactive they're gone but this is what I did I went to the go to and to programming when I came to the programming the TECU was not up to date it had a lower software number here and in this box it showed the new software number and it also had the ECA and another software number but when I came to this screen the ECA already had this green check mark but the TECU was missing this green check mark so I knew that the TECU needed an update not the ECA so I came here I highlighted the TECU software update and there's a little box up here next to the software number that you have to check click on it and it'll check it once that's done this group this blue confirm button down here will uh, become accessible you press confirm it'll bring you to the next screen and it'll say download make sure that your battery is charged or um, on the charger and the update took about five to ten minutes and once it was done the fault codes all were gone and I have not had the issue since so it was a out-of-date um, transmission electronic control unit software problem and once the software was up to date the uh, it fixed that that problem so a little bit tricky but if you have the software and you're able to do it uh, that was the fix